After your Confluence administrator creates the theme press default space, a set of architect pages becomes available. As a designer, you implement the look and feel of these pages. Let's look at the menu page as an example. At first glance, you see several layers, columns, and blocks. To help you start your menu, ThemePress populates these blocks with generic content. Let's take a look at the layout of the page. The first layer is the menu layer. It holds the top level and drop down menu items. This layer always contains one column and one block and is the only layer needed to create a menu with drop downs. If your design works better with menu panels, you can use the panel layers below the menu layer. Notice that you can add columns and blocks to these layers. To create top level and drop down menu items, use a two level bullet list. You can link these items to internal or external content. Items in panels can also be bullet lists or they can be regular text. They can also link to internal or external content. To make a panel appear in your menu, you must associate its top level item with its panel layer. You make this association by naming the layer with the same word as its top level menu item. For instance, if the top level item is departments, the name of the panel layer should also be departments. 